In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some simple shapes, in this case, these rounded rectangles, um, to make some characters and make them strike some poses. So you can see here, I've created a whole bunch of um, pills, if you like. Um, and in the previous tutorials, you can see, you have seen how to um, cut these shapes um, and color them. So it looks like we've got something we've got going on here. So I've got in here a torso, a head, some arms and some legs. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to make some copies here. So I'm going to duplicate this object here and I'm going to duplicate my head. So here you can see I've now copied all of my body parts and I can simply use the rotation key. So I'm going to make this guy look like he's sitting down. So I'm just going to tilt him back slightly. I'm going to put his head on this torso like this and you can just tilt his head back. It looks like he's kicking back slightly. And then I'm going to use this. Now, the reason I've got these um, pills here, this obviously looks like the same color as his T-shirt. So now it looks like I've made his upper part of his arm and he's just kind of kicking back here. So I'm now gonna put this part on here like this and turn that. And so it looks like that's his elbow, whoops. And so just using these simple pieces like this, so it's got obviously got to be uh, line up with the ground, so we can just move this around a little bit. You can you can fiddle around. That's looking good. And use this one. There we go. That's lining up the ground. That's looking good. Now, when to, to give a sense of depth, things that are further away from you need to be darker color. So I've made these arms here slightly darker and you can see on the legs here I've made these ones slightly darker so the, so the darker versions will be slightly further away so I'm now going to make it look like this guy is sitting down and he's got his legs dangling over something so I'm just going to put this over to here like this and then drag this one down here like that and we're beginning to see he's looking a bit kind of relaxed and a bit comfortable we can let his legs swing out just slightly there we go and now I'm going to drag this one down and put the legs over here. And I think what I'll do is I will, now I can use the, the center back option, just move this back. There we go. And now use this one here and rotate this one. And we can have that sitting here like this. Maybe it needs to be more down like that. And so we can rotate this one a little bit more. There we go. And so now this character is beginning to look like he's sitting down. So now I want to do now is I want to actually make this arm looks like it's resting on the um, elbow on the knee here. So that's got to send, send that back. There we go. Okay, maybe I need to twist this one a bit more. Perhaps he's looking a bit too relaxed there. It's better. There, and now I can use this one and rotate this slightly like this. And that's got to come forward. There we go. And so now this guy looks like he's sitting on the ground. There, a bit of, bit of a shadow. Looks like he's sitting on the edge of something. So you can just use these pill shapes to start making some characters. So I'll, I'll have a move this around and, and make some different poses and you can see how we can, you can do it yourself. So here, I've, what I've done now is I've made three other poses simply by moving each of those shapes around, copying them and moving them around. So you can see a guy leaning against the wall, obviously running and somebody lying down. And all, all I've done is organize those shapes following those basic rules. Something that's in the background or further away is slightly darker. So you can see which is my back leg and which is my back arm and my forward arm and my forward leg. And that gives a sense of perspective from the, even these really simple flat shapes. So I really recommend you have a go at making your own pill man or pill girl um, shapes and um, use them into and organize them into a collection of poses that you can use in as graphics in your own work and um, be interested to see what you come up with. So good luck with that. Very simple exercise. 
and let's see what you can do.